Hello and welcome to this video on how to easily convert your SPSS data file into an Excel spreadsheet and then use it in the M plus software if you want or do whatever else you would want to do with it. My name is Christian Geiser. I'm an instructor and statistical consultant with Quantfish. On this channel, I present weekly statistics tutorials, usually related to multivariate statistical methods such as factor analysis, structural equation modeling, multi-level modeling, or latent class analysis. If this is something that interests you, then please subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and to check out the description for additional free resources and for other Quantfish videos and workshops. So in this video here, I want to show you something that I detected or found recently on the internet that I thought was very practical for me and that I wanted to share with you. So I um, have a lot of old SPSS data files, but I don't really use the program SPSS anymore so much and I don't really want to pay for the program. And so I was thinking, how can I access my old SPSS data files still if I want to, for example, analyze them in the M plus software or in some other statistical software? What can I do without having to buy SPSS or do something else that might be complicated or annoying? And so I googled how to convert an SPSS data file into an Excel spreadsheet because I know how to deal with Excel. I have it anyway and I know how to convert data files from Excel into simple text files that can then be used in a variety of other statistical programs such as M plus or also in the R statistical software or pretty much whatever other statistical software program. And so I just Googled that and then I found this website here called admaple.com and they have a tool that's called the SPSS.SAV to CSV converter. .SAV is the SPSS data file format and so unfortunately not very many programs can read that other than SPSS. Some statistical programs can, but for example, M plus won't read your SPSS data file. And so if you wanted to get your SPSS data file converted to a text file, for example, that M plus can read and you don't have SPSS, then you're kind of stuck. And so, but this allows you to turn this into a CSV file and then you can open it in, in Microsoft Excel and you can export it in some other format. So let's see how this is done and you'll see it's extremely easy. So will you just click on this button here that says choose file to convert and then you pick your SPSS data file that you would like to convert. So this is here the data file named math.sav. So I click on that and then click on open and then after just a few seconds, the file is being converted to a CSV file and it says file converted. Your file has successfully been converted and downloaded to your system. Below is a summary of your data. And so then you can open this file. It automatically ends up in the download folder. And so um, you can open it with Microsoft Excel. There it is. And voila, you have your variable names in the first uh, row here. And then below that you have all your data as you would have it in SPSS. So it almost looks like an SPSS data file. And now you can do everything with it that Microsoft Excel can do. For example, a lot of stats you could actually run in Microsoft Excel. You could make graphics and so on. Now, if you wanted to uh, go a step further and export this data file for the M plus software, that was my motivation for finding out how this works, then that's also very easy to do in Microsoft Excel. The first thing that I would always want to do is code missing values before I export that data set for M plus because M plus tends to work well in, or better in my experience when you have a numeric missing value code rather than blanks. You can see there are a bunch of blank cells here and those indicate missing values. And so that's also very easy to do in Excel. You can just highlight the columns where you have your variables with missing data and then you just press control H for find and replace and you can just find an empty cell. So you just leave the field find what blank and you replace it with your missing data code of your choice. So for example, negative nine for a missing value code and then you click on 
um, replace all and it says all done we made 1427 replacements so then we're done with that and so you can see now that you have missing values here coded as negative nines and so you have a numeric missing value code which m plus tends to like better now the next thing that you would want to do if you wanted to export this data file for m plus is you would want to get rid of the variable names in the first row because m plus does not like to have variable names directly in the data file you provide the variable names in m plus uh, in the syntax so you would cut them out so you would you could just copy them or cut them out um, and then paste them into your s into your m plus syntax before you delete them so you have them in the proper order so you could take them out here so in this case i'm just going to delete this whole row so and then i have only numbers and now I can export this data file for use in M plus with no variable names and with a numeric missing value code by simply clicking on file and then save as. And then you can see you can save this as a tab delimited text file. That is an option that works really well for M plus and also would work for other statistical programs. So this is a text tab delimited format you choose your name for example math.dat and then you hit save and there you have your text file that then you can read in m plus that m plus can work with you just have to remember to um, have your variable names in the correct order when you set up the m plus syntax file for uh, analyzing these data but this data set will work just fine in my experience then when analyzed in M plus. And so that way you don't need SPSS. You can just convert your SPSS file into an Excel file, handle the missing data coding there and whatever else you would want to do with the data file first. And then you can export it as a text file for M plus and then very easily import it into M plus. I hope you liked this video on how to convert SPSS data files into an Excel format and then further into other formats. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment in the comment section if you have other ideas for addressing this issue or further comments. And don't forget to check out the description for additional resources. And I'll see you next time.